Well, it's interesting because uh, I spent a lot of time um, earlier in my work and life uh, actually at, uh, living and working in Craignish. And there were a number of um, the older people from Craignish who, who actually knew Harry Kelly and knew the sort of uh, character he was. He was a bit of a, a cranky old fella. And uh, I, th I think um, it, he would have been quite uh, difficult to, to really understand properly uh, in, in terms of what he was thinking. And, and no doubt he would have had that cussed Manx way about him of, of leading you to believe certain things and, and um, perhaps uh, uh, you, you, you wouldn't necessarily immediately understand what he was thinking and he would do that out of divilment, I would imagine, from what I've heard of him. Um, so um, that said... I think any um, native speaker, any speaker of a, of a language which is starting to die out, um, that actually saw their language being preserved in some way, would have to feel positive about that because uh, you know the, the language would have meant more to him. The, the Manx language would have meant more more to him than English uh, because that was clearly the language he was brought up in, and the, all, all his, his uh, sort of family and the older people, uh, the older generations that he would have known would have all been much more comfortable speaking Manx than English. So he would really be, I, I would imagine anyway, and, and it's, you, you are second-guessing a bit, but I would imagine he would have been uh, very pleased uh, uh, with the, 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 cha the, the re revival and use of the Manx language, uh, although you probably wouldn't have guessed it 